This, of course, has got to do with what is happening with the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, where Russia has now agreed to allow a mission from the International Atomic Energy Agency to inspect the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. And this was confirmed by French President Emmanuel Macron after he had a phone conversation with his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin. French officials have said that Putin had reconsidered his demand that the mission travel to the plant from the Russian territory. Now, Russia and Ukraine have accused each other of planning a provocation at the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant in the coming days. The IAEA has been trying to negotiate an inspection of the plant since reports emerged of the site coming under attack. Now, Putin has allowed the United Nations agency access to the plant, which Russia has controlled since the early stages of its invasion of Ukraine. The Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has said that the IAEA mission could re-establish the plant's security. Украинские дипломати, наші партнери, представники ООН, МАГАТЕ опрацьовують конкретні деталі місії, яка має бути направлена на Запорізьку атомну станцію. З цієї місії може початись відновлення повної безпеки на АРЗС і в Енергодарі. І я вдячний усім, хто приєднався до цієї роботи і ініціативи. Якщо російський шантаж радіацією продовжиться, то це літо може увійти в історію європейських країн як одне з найбільш трагічних за весь час. Both Russia and Ukraine have blamed each other for the shelling of the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. The strikes have damaged infrastructure around the plant, which is the largest in Europe. Now, Putin has warned that continued shelling could, of course, lead to a large-scale catastrophe and also lead to radiation contamination of large territories. Presently, only two out of the plant's six reactors are functional. And Ukraine has said that Russia is trying to disconnect the plant from the Ukrainian energy grid and connect it to Russia's grid instead. A disconnection would mean the grid would at least temporarily lose power, and this is dangerous because power is needed to cool the nuclear reactors. If the cooling systems fail, then the reactor could melt down and lead to a Chernobyl-like disaster. And experts say that this is, of course, a bigger threat than a direct hit because reactors are built to withstand such impacts. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.